Okay. Some people don't know how to carve a turkey. See right here. There's a natural slit right here. We'll come down there. We're gonna cut the leg off first. He had an accident. I think he got hit by a car. Find that joint. Look right there. Look through that joint. Got another pin. Push the red button. It'll pause. Push pause. It'll pause. Okay, now he got the legs off. You got the brass on the brass and you got the wings. I ain't got this thing juicy. There's a bone that comes up right to the center. I'm gonna try to get on that bone. And don't like saw. You just wanna make long strokes. And then peel it back so you can see the bone. Long stroke. It's hot. Get all the way down. That should be your breast. See that bone right there? I'm gonna follow that bone that way. Same thing on this side. Follow that breast bone. That's thing. It's set for more than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. After you get the turkey out of the oven, you want to let it set for 30 minutes so the juices will absorb into the meat. So if not, your meat will just, the juices will just run everywhere. Look at that. Okay. Then you want to come after the wings. Put it right here. A lot of people don't like this. You can use this for uh, a stock, a chicken stock, whatever. I think this turkey got hit by a car. But look, there ain't no meat on that bone. It's falling off. Yeah, it's falling off the bone. Yeah, off the bone. That means it's good. Put it right there. Let's see right there. There's your wishbone for the kids. Some people will take before they carve the turkey and they'll cut the wishbone out. But if you do it this way, your wishbone will just fall out. So we gotta give that to the kids. Push pause. All right, so now you can kind of go through, dig your bones out. See, because if the legs would have stayed together, you have to debone them. Not the legs, I'm sorry, the wings, the little part that looks like the leg. You'd have to debone them to get the meat out, but it's already just so juicy and falling apart. You know, some people like skin. Some people don't. See all these bones just falling apart. So you got the gist of that. You want to go through here and pick out all this meat. Okay? Push pause. Smoking. You sure it's been seven more than 30 minutes? Mm hmm. I took it out at like 8 30. Alright. So, here's your breast. I'm going to try to leave the skin on. And don't saw. Just one straight cut. It's hot. You want a knife? Like a fork knife? To hold it? Mm -hmm. mm. 
claws. I said don't saw and I'm sawing but it's just so tender it's falling apart. Probably should have let it set a little longer. Smoke coming off of it. Mm. it smells good. Got another pan? Oh here, hold on. So you should be able to just, then after if it don't fall apart, you should just be able to go like this and pick the breast up. And I think it's hot. Mm. And lay it in your pan. Lift all the far, so who cares? Always wash your hands. Anytime you're messing with food. <laughs> Anything in culinary arts class. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Repeat the same process with this this breast. Push pause. And of course, the one I wasn't recording when I cut stayed together perfect. So we push record again. Move this off. See, so should be better go like that. Put it in the pan. Now that I'm recording, watch this one fall apart. Okay, so all your white meat. You know, if you actually wanted to. Got that knuckle. And we'll just debone them. Just debone it. There's the bone. Cut the bone out. Make sure you don't got no little knuckles. Anything anybody's going to choke on. Try to sue you. Little dark meat. Do the other one if it stays together. Let's cut it at that joint right there. I'm just gonna flip it over, put the skin on it, and then steep on it. Real simple. You need a good knife. Check the hands. Sure, there ain't no little knuckle. No one's gonna bite you too. Okay. And that is the just carving a turkey. Now you can leave the legs like that, or you can cut them up, debone them. However, the kids like it. You got it all in here, it's still hot, and cover it up with aluminum foil. As you can see, nobody's here to eat yet. So, if you wanted to, you could throw it back in the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes to heat it back up. I'm gonna pick some more meat out of this, and that's cooking with Mr. Weddle, or since carving the turkey with Mr. Weddle. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>